Hey there friends, Pastor Tyler here. And if you are like a lot of people that I've been talking to recently, your bed is becoming much more comfortable at about 6 or 7 a.m. And the world is becoming much more uncomfortable. It's just harder to get out of bed these days because of all that is happening, all of the negativity, all of the trials, all of the tribulations in this world. It's harder to get out of bed. Bed, much more comfortable. The pillows, much more comfortable. The world, much less comfortable. But let me tell you, as Christians, we have a command from the Apostle Paul in Galatians 6, 9. And that command is, let us not grow weary of doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Yes, for a lot of us, our beds are more comfortable because we just want to stay in bed all day and not have to deal with the world and the troubles of this world. But let us instead get out of bed. Go in to the world and not give up and do good because the harvest has never been more plentiful at this time. We as Christians in a troubled, troubled world have the opportunity to be light, have the opportunity to be love, have the opportunity to be hope. Will we take that opportunity? Will we not give up? And will we sow the seeds of the gospel in our midst? through the power of the Holy Spirit, it is my prayer that we as Christians would sow seeds of hope and love and peace in this time. Yes, our beds are comfortable. And yes, it's harder to get out of bed in these days. But let us, through the power of the Holy Spirit, not grow weary in doing good, not grow weary in proclaiming the gospel, not grow weary in being hope in a world that has no hope. Let us go and proclaim the gospel. And that's what I want you to do today. Find something, someone or some way to be a light in darkness. Maybe it's making a phone call. Maybe it's sending an encouraging text or email. Maybe it's helping someone at their house or delivering groceries to someone in need. Be an encouragement today. Be hope today to someone in our community. Get out of bed. Be a light in this present darkness. God bless everyone.